So does your diet or the food that you eat affect your mood? I think so. I really do. The reason why is because, see, diet has actually been linked to mental conditions. For example, people that have type 2 diabetes um, have a higher incidence of schizophrenia. It's been shown also in studies that those who eat a diet high in processed foods and sugar have a higher rate of depression. Now, I don't have all of these studies right here, you know, off the top of my mind to read off to you guys, but you certainly could look these things up on Google, or perhaps I could show them, you know, in the description box. However, it's it's very obvious that diet or food would have an impact on your mood, given the, the fact that your brain is mostly comprised of fat, um, and also food, to a large extent, is what supplies your body with all of the nutrients, such as the vitamins and minerals that also play a role in your mental health. Um, for example, if you are deficient in certain B vitamins, it could negatively affect your um, mental health. So it, it absolutely affects your mood. And considering the fact that what most Americans eat on a day-to-day -day basis is largely comprised of processed junk food and sugar, hence the sad diet standard or the standard American diet or sad for short which is, is pretty sad um, then it could definitely be concluded that yes food definitely affects your mood you know they say that junk food equals junk moods healthy foods equal healthy moods so you know, load up on those nutritious, healthy, wholesome foods to experience the best mental health and state of mind that you can have. You know, when you start venturing into certain areas of the country where poverty is very high, these people are less likely to eat healthy, wholesome foods just given the fact that they can't afford those foods. So they rely on these welfare or benefit card food stamp things where they're primarily purchasing low quality, you know, junk foods. And, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but I honestly think that a lot of this, um, a lot of this free benefits and food stuff you know, <clears throat> let me just put it this way, because I don't want to sound like a complete conspiracy person, okay? But it's almost like everything has been socially engineered, or it's all been engineered for a sole purpose of pretty much dumbing down the society. Maybe that wasn't the intentional goal, but I, I think that there could be good reasons to suggest that that's the case. And I also think another driving factor behind all of this is that many of the corporations that produce all of these foods are in it for the money, okay? They want more money, they're greedy, and they really don't have your health in mind. That's why when people stop purchasing those foods, they're forced to have to do something, otherwise they're going to completely lose money. And so when the pressure's on these big corporations, that's when they start to change. You know, now you see in America a lot more foods being... Um, labeled may be produced with genetic engineering on the back of many packages now. Um, you also have stores now selling lots of organic foods, foods that, you know, four or five years ago you would have never found in those grocery stores. But now because of the demand, because people become more health conscious because they watch videos like this, um, they start to learn and understand, hey, maybe food has the, maybe that's the reason why I'm not feeling very well. Or maybe, you know, that's, that's why, uh, 
you know, I have all this depression. So see, there's a lot of reasons why all this stuff, you know, is happening, going on. But back to the topic of the video, um, does food affect your mood? Absolutely, food affects your mood. Um, you know, one, one big important um, point in all of this is also, you know, inflammation um, would affect the state of your mind because if your body is under attack, then all of your, like, your whole system is thrown off balance. I mean, just think of it like a car, right? If a, if a part goes bad on a car, then that car isn't functioning at its best. It's imbalanced until somebody fixes the car, re replaces the part, or fixes the part. Our body is much the same way. If we don't put the right feel in this body, okay, if we don't fix what's wrong, then our body, our system, okay, isn't going to run optimally. It's not going to function at its very best. <clears throat> so, you know, I think it could be said that most Americans, at least in the United States, are not eating probably in a way that is conducive to good mental health. And then it's no wonder then why so many people have a hard time understanding things or using lots of common sense. Um, instead, you know, speaking a lot of nonsense. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it it's becoming almost, you know, ridiculous at this point. You know, here we had uh, Bernie Sanders running on the Democratic um, ticket in this election. And a self-proclaimed socialist, while at the same time Venezuela, who went full-on socialism, now their country is in, you know, turmoil. The, the people there were starving, so they had to go to the zoo to kill some animals to eat. You know, socialism is a complete failure. And the guy who come up with it, Karl Marx, and maybe he didn't even, maybe he wasn't the first one to come up with it. I'm just saying Karl Marx uh, never had a job in his life, from what I understand and, and read about it. And he was supported by his good friend. So, see, if you eat not so good foods, I think it can over time affect your mental health. It can it can affect your brain power, your comprehension, your reason. Uh, not to mention all the chemicals and stuff that's in your food too. Now, however, that does not mean that I'm saying that people that eat junk food are dumb or stupid or whatever. I think that there's a lot of smart people out there that still eat those foods. However, I will say that if they were to eat even healthier, if they were to re replace that bad stuff with good stuff, their mental um, their mental ability, I think, would go through the roof. Honestly, I really do. And so, it's almost like, you know, a battery, okay? Picture yourself as a battery. Um, eating a standard American diet, you may be functioning at 60%, 70% of your mental brain power. But imagine if you flipped that around and you and you gave your body good feel that supported, okay, the function of your brain, gave your brain food, okay, gave your body food, then you would be functioning near 100%. So, you know, that's still a big boost to what somebody would have otherwise been. I think you guys are following, you know, what I'm trying to say here. So, yeah, while it's true, you could argue, yeah, but, man, I eat whatever. I eat drinking soda, and I'm eating sugars, and, you know, I'm eating whatever every day. And I'm still functioning fine. Um, 
analyze it, honestly evaluate it, and ask yourself the question, hmm, I wonder what I would feel like, I wonder what my mood would be like, and I wonder what my brain power would be like if I switched my food to healthier foods. And then observe and write down how you're feeling day after day after day and see if your brain power increases. If it does, then you know that it is true. It's really working. See, these are the things that you have to observe. And then I think you can make a good case for this. So, you know, our bodies are living. We are a living organism. Um, we have many different organisms living in our gut, and those need certain foods to grow. Um, there's also bad organisms that live in our gut, and all this stuff affects our mental health. Um, Dr. Mark Hyman wrote a book called Ultra Mind Wellness, and it's a fantastic book. One that actually, believe it or not, I haven't actually read. Wait. I might take that back. I think I actually did read that one time. But nevertheless, he makes a strong connection between your gut and your mental health. Your gut can be, I mean, your gut can be fixed and your brain can be fixed. And your moods are definitely linked to what you eat. And food can cause stress and stress can affect your mood. So keep all these things in mind the next time that you're complaining about your depression or your anxiety or your anger problems or whatever it is um, and then ask yourself hmm I wonder if it's because of the food that I'm eating and perhaps you're just going through some hard times in your life I get that everybody does but think of food as something that kind of boosts your mood in a way that helps you then to be able to deal with these other stressors a lot more easily and efficiently. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please like. Don't forget to subscribe. That always helps me. Um, and share this video if you want. Take care.